is going on vlog this is your boy dre magics uh this week has been pretty hectic we've been doing a lot of book stuff if you don't know i sell used books on amazon but now we're doing more magic we just filmed one of the episodes to this new magic show that's coming out with me and masato and um i'm also going to do a show i gotta record a show real quick and this is what everything looks like but we're gonna change it we are now watching the palms up flash fest check out my setup blue eyes white dragon blanket we got the flash fest on the laptop magic mc Kaylin Faye, and here's the chat say hi chat say hi jerks Fine, don't wave. There it is. It's my turn. You guys will see the video in a little bit. Yeah, that's me. What's up, everyone? This is your boy, Dre Magic. Welcome to the Palms Up Academy Flash Fest. They asked me to come here and do some magic. Come, come here. They asked me to stay home and do some magic. And um, we're going to do a couple card tricks. The thing is, I've been messing with cards most of my life and even when i was a kid uh the problem with cards is that when no one would trust me no one would trust me with playing cards right so what all my friends did they thought they were being funny they took all my cards and they put them in the boxes right and then they would put tape on the little lids i don't have tape right now but they would put tape on the lid so i had to play with the cards and figure out how to use them while they were still in the box and I kind of figured out a way all you have to do is give the box a squeeze and you get the first card you get an ace right they thought I was cutting cutting slits in the boxes I said if you rub the sides and you can check out the box what they thought was do you see the back how it matches a card I was using the back as camouflage and whenever I needed a card I would just pull one off but I said how is that possible and all you do is tap and you get another one isn't that crazy? We have a pattern here, right? We have a couple of aces. Um, take a look at the pattern on the back, though. If you focus on the pattern and you give the box a little chop like that, you get the last ace. Uh, yes, yeah, so I've been messing with cards basically for most of my life. And here's the thing. You couldn't bring cards to school. You couldn't bring cards to school because it was like contraband, right? They didn't want you growing up. Um, learning how to gamble and play card games a lot of good that did um, But I do magic now, but here's the thing right I Couldn't have cards at school. So when I would go over to my friends houses They would um, Make me do magic with their deck. So all the decks would be different and I learned how to use magic with uh, a Lot of different decks, but here's the thing. I was sneaky. I don't know. Why I did this but um all the different cards I took, I stole one card from each deck, right? It was weird. It was a weird thing when I did when I was a kid. Um, and the one trick that I've always wanted to learn as a kid was to find, it's called the Holy Grail. You find the four aces from a shuffled pack. And when I learned how to do that, uh, we kind of upped the level, right? Now that I'm an adult and doing magic. Um, so we did a different kind of shuffle. We shuffled face up into face down. There's one card there. Face up into face down. We would shuffle the cards. And you can tell it's an actual shuffle because uh, it sounds like this. Nice. So I would have to try and find four aces from a shuffle deck but it was a face up, face down situation. I don't know. So uh, all I have to do is give the decks a couple of cuts like that. There's one. That's the first one. That's the Ace of Diamonds. The second one. It's very simple. All I have to do is give the cards a cut like that. A little fancy for you and that is the, uh, the ace of hearts the next one comes from the middle you can deal it from the middle that's the ace of spades and you can go face up 
some of the cards are face up, face down, face up, face down, face up, face down. And this is how you would find the last ace. It would snap and all the cards would fix themselves. Except for one. And that was your last ace, the uh, ace of clubs. And uh, here's the thing, right? Like I said, I've been doing this trick for, for many years and with different decks of cards, right? And uh, if I could do it like that, it would look like this. I don't know. Oh, remember when I told you that story of when I... Uh, I would steal cards from different decks. Yeah, I wasn't lying. Um, this one's from my deck. This one's from down the street. This one's from the Bosco house. And this one was from SIPA. Uh, yeah, it's cool. Four cards. <laughs> Not only that, right? But check it out. Uh, if we take the deck, it will shake like that. Like I said, I stole a lot of cards. Almost all the cards are different. I think my childhood turned out pretty good. Um, thank you guys for watching. I've been Dre Magic. Enjoy the rest of the Palms Up Flash Fest. Spread love, make magic. Peace.